Following a 74 to 49 win by the Pride, we are joined here by head women's basketball coach Krista Coburn Stavesky and junior Mary Ann Kalen and senior Boogie Brzezowski. Coach, an opening statement on tonight's win? Oh, it's always fun to get that first one under your belt uh, and obviously come out on the winning end of it. So, you know, we. Uh, we knew that they are obviously well coached and, and, and definitely getting themselves back to the culture that they're used to and you know you don't know what to expect so just really proud of the leadership of these two folks sitting beside me here um, you know on the offensive as well as the defensive end here so that it was a, a nice a nice night. And coach you said to win you'd have to have three players and double figures every night but tonight you had four what was working so well on the offensive side of the ball? Yeah well we short shared it I think Marion just pointed out because I don't have my glasses that we had 21 assists um, so, yeah, and just with a big smile. So that's pretty nice when she's like, Coach, we had 21 assists. So I think we had either 11 or 13 at half. Um, so great sharing the ball, not, you know, worrying about, you know, to take the shots when they come to you, but yet taking the shots. I thought Boogie did a great job taking the shots. But I, I do like four double figures, and I would take five, too. Um, so, uh, but you're right. You know, we definitely got to have folks to help help all of us here and help Bugs. And uh, it was a great it was a great night for, uh, you know, like I said, for Mary Ann, too, to get herself back. Um, you know, getting involved on the offensive side. You had a couple of collegiate debuts, a couple of just season debuts for certain players. How nice was it to get everyone involved? Oh, you know, you know, one of those opportunities always come up, right? You know, get them to get over their jitters. And I thought Kayla Brown came out and, and did what she's been doing every day in practice. I, I think that's what the most impressive thing to me is. It's like rewarding people or how hard they're working in practice. Um, and you know, and, and that just really has been indicative of what she has been doing. So I can't, uh, I can't speak, you know, any more uh, volumes about that one. And it's going to make other people to, you know, to, to understand that the value of your of your practice and your your commitment. So that that was great. It was nice having Sika back in the lineup here. You know, especially she started off really kind of gave us a lot of breathing room in the beginning and creating. So that you know takes a little pressure off of Boog. So that that was nice. And for you, Boogie, you seemed like you were able to distribute the ball to everyone, and then when the lane was open, you took it. What were you seeing on the floor? Um, honestly, I, I'm just trying to find my teammates before I even find myself, and that's where sometimes I get in a problem where I should be shooting and I'm passing and I'm turning it over. But um, I'm always looking, my head is up, I'm always looking for my teammates. My success is just as good as their success. So um, I, I just wanted to win. So uh, I didn't care who scored. I didn't care who got the assist. If, if someone got it done, I was cheering. Um, if it was me, it was great as well. So. Um, I just wanted to win at the end of the day. And for you, Marianne, especially in the second half, the pick and roll seemed to be working really well with the guards. What did you see down low? Um, I mean, they were shorter. Like, there was a lot of room, and we just shared the ball. Like like Coach said, we got 21 assists, so we were just uh, sharing the ball. And on the defensive end, you held the team to under 50 points. I don't know that is. What was it that was working so on the defensive side, especially with the press? Yeah, well, I mean, we're, we're trying to hang our head on, on hang our hat. I mean, on what uh, you know, what we need to do, and and we know that we need to not sit back when we play people. So whatever kind of defensive scheme that we need to do needs to be an aggressive one, so we can kind of control. And I just think that's going to continue to be a work in progress. And our conditioning um, is is and is a good team, but it is probably the best it's been since I've been here in a while, where we can just keep going. And, and I think that's that as we keep building on this game experience and um, putting more pressure. I mean, we need to be able to have, like I said, just many different ways to continue to put pressure on people so we can control what we can control. And I think that's what our focus is. And that's their commitment. So, the, you know, they're committed to that. They see the value behind it. And, and we're just going to keep getting better because, you know, we got um, obviously ourselves into some foul trouble and, and, and folks weren't guarding the ball as well and containing as well as we needed to. So we'll get better. Though that, that won't be something that we will take lightly in film because we weren't even taking lightly out there because everybody is demanding themselves and they know they can play better. So that's what I think I was most proud of. People weren't upset at themselves, they were just more like agitated that they know they can play better and then they need to learn how to be engaged and, and do that um, you know, day in and day out. So it'll be fun to watch this process grow and as we get challenged, which will be Friday at five because Columbia is going to come in here and really challenge us. Thank you. So come Friday, Friday, doubleheader, I know. Uh, Everybody's been pumping that one. This was our first home opener. We got this one now, so let's go take care of business on Friday. But we need a lot of people screaming in the stands for us to beat Columbia on Friday. That, that would really help us. Okay? Perfect. Come. So good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Marianne, I totally